Greetings from Firestorm Gaming. Welcome to Station Ears Thriving on Europa. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my version of the airlock, which I find more reliable and quicker than the cards that you can insert. So we'll get straight to it. Start off with the doors. Always turn your torch off, I found to my detriment. And if you don't, then it can damage your suit. Let's class. Now what I can do until we have power is use the crowbar to force it open. Don't need that anymore. Right, we'll start off with the vents. Now because this wall is on this square I can place things on it. If it wasn't I wouldn't be able to. Now the large green square needs to be at the top because that's the pipework collection. Two of those. The small green cross is the wiring connection. So we'll put the consoles in the middle, one down. Now we want the passive vents. Now the passive vent, these two are going to be taking cold air out of here and expelling it. So we want this on the roof. Like so. these on the inside. Now on the inside as you can see I can't actually place it because that wall is not on this square. So we'll remedy that. Now make sure it's not a window, it's a wall. And now I can place passive vents. Now we're going to connect them up with pipe work. Because this, these two are going to be taking cold air out from this square to these passive vents, they don't need to be insulated. However, these do. Now you notice I can't see in that in here, but the yellow cross at the bottom means it is connected and we know the passive vents on the other side. So that's that connected up. So we'll connect the power up now. I'll fast forward this bit. And we'll put the walls on. And these have power controllers in them, covered with glass. And that's basically the setup, so now we need to program it. So for that we need the data card. And what we're going to want to do is label them so we know which vents are which. 
the vents, all of them, will have all red buttons. They're all red, you know it's going as it should. Now, we're go these are going to be removing cold air from here, out through those vents. So we're going to program this one and we'll say cold extract. Once we've named it, confirm, press it again and what you can do is highlight all of them, control C, confirm. Now when we go up to here, we can control V confirm it's just a little shortcut confirm so if this is cold this is going to be heat so we'll call it heat extract confirm press again highlight control C control V Now if this was on a bigger circuit with lots of vents, we could rename that a little bit more accurately, but for here, that's perfectly fine. Get rid of that noise. So we're now going to program these, turn it on, search for vents, and this is the cold one if you remember. So select the two cold ones, now we want them both working in sync, so we can mode toggle, mode linked, so they are now linked. So when we take the card out, it should say power on, not toggle. So let's do the same the other side. Except this one is going to be heat extract. Link them, take them out, and that should all be set up. Now, one thing we haven't powered up is the doors, so let's do that quickly. And you'll see the green light come on here to say that the doors have power and we can use them. So let's demonstrate this. So from outside here, with the temperature and the pressure, it is obviously in this room here. What we don't want is the cold and the pressure to go into our base. So we come in, we close the door, now I always go clockwise, then you can't go wrong. So we're going to turn the power on, but if you look at your suit, external, it's 43 kPa and minus 149 degrees. So with everything shut up, when we turn this on, you'll see that that goes to 0 kPa and 0 degrees C. Turn it off open the door and then you get an influx of the inside the base temperature and pressure in this room not a problem with that wind coming in so you can go in do the bits and pieces you need then if you want to exit what we're going to do when we close this door is suck out all of this nice warm air and higher temperature through these vents and back into these passive vents. So we'll close the door, go in clockwise, turn it on. Now obviously at the moment I haven't heated the base, but when it gets down to nil, turn it off, open it up, out you go. Now I'll show you on the base that I have heated as a demonstration. So it's the same setup there as you can see. The only thing is it's got a double skin because sometimes if you use the cheap walls it can leak. 
so make sure you double skin up. So we go in, close the door, clockwise round, you can see minus 158 at 40 kPa, turn it on, nil nil, power off, open the door and now inside the base is 26 degrees C and pressure is rising and it's about 61 so I can come in here do the bits and pieces I need and then come out close the door moving clockwise round power on and all of that nice warm air will go back into engineering turn it off open the door and out we go into the minus 161 and that is it that airlock will work for any base any temperature and any pressure welcome any questions uh, or any flaws that you can see uh, within it um, give it a th like thumbs up whatever but this has been fast on the gaming and I'll see you next time bye bye